So as you already heard, my name is Marco Tempest. I'm a cyber illusionist and the founder of the Magic Lab in New York City. At the Magic Lab, we research and develop the role of illusion in technology. It's surprising how much illusion is present in our interactions with technology. From the 24 frames per second that create the illusion of movement in movies to the programming of Siri, Alexa or Cortana that give our devices the illusion of intelligence. Now I'm particularly interested in the role of illusion beyond the world of entertainment as a means of prototyping the future or to create tools for education. So what you're about to see is a demonstration of a mixed reality system that has many uses. One is to enable teachers to enhance their classroom presentations, to make them more memorable. All you need is a, a laptop computer and a small webcam. And so for a moment, let's sit back and imagine we are back in class and we're going to add a little bit of magic to our lesson. Okay. <laughs> so the magic is going to happen up on the screen and the real world is here. You can choose which to watch, the magic, the reality, or a little of each. So, okay. Okay, it sees my hands. Here we go. Let's begin. Today is a special day. A day that we are all sharing. A day that will never be repeated. A day that we will all remember because of this, the calendar. 12 months, 365 days, sometimes a leap year. These days keep a record of our journey through time, past, present, and future. And we all think that one of these days is more special than the others. Our birthdays. This is mine, December 13th. And it was on my sixth birthday that I saw my first magician. He produced a rabbit out of a hat. Abracadabra! Now, if you were of a mystical disposition, you could say that this one day, this particular birthday did indeed influence my future career. Now, you'll be glad to know that I no longer wear the hat. There have been many attempts to correlate the date of our birth to our personality. And the most popular of these is astrology. Astrologers believe that our personalities can be ascribed to one of the 12 sun signs, patterns produced by the stars. So I'm not only born on December 13th, I'm also born under the star sign of the archer, Sagittarius. Ouch! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I read horoscopes for fun, but I don't take them very seriously. <laughs> but then again, we Sagittarians are renowned for our skepticism. <laughs> the Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung took a different view. He was the founder of analytical psychology and profoundly interested with our connection with archetypes and symbols. We are born at a given moment in a given place and like vintage years are like, they have the qualities of the year and the season of which we are born. Astrology does not lay claim to anything more. Well, perhaps we shouldn't dismiss the astrologers too easily. Our own biological clocks depend on the movements of the planets. The sun, after all, rules our day. The light it emits affects the brain, which prevents the production of melatonin, the chemical that makes us feel sleepy. We have evolved a 24-hour body clock that matches the rotation of our planet from day to night as it orbits the sun. Hippocrates the father of modern medicine went further. He suggested that where and when you were born had an influence on your health and your life. My aunt said that summer babies have a healthier disposition, which is a little disappointing for those of us born in the autumn. Now, I was born in the winter, 
and the Swiss went through at that. Perhaps that's why it's my favorite time of the year. The calendar continues to guide our lives. It's the diary of our days, the sum of every hour we spend. You have it on your wall, your computer, your phone, and of course your watch. Now I have no idea whether the day of my birth played a part in my destiny. I leave that to the astrologers and the scientists to figure out. But I do subscribe to something that the theologian William Barclay said. He said that there are two great days in a person's life. The day you were born and the day you discover why. Now I hope that each and every one of you will discover yours. One final thing. There are three hundred and forty-four people in this room. And according to mathematicians, there is a 100% probability that two of them will share the same birthday. And a 61.08% probability that one of those people will have their birthday today. So if this is you and you know who you are, then I have one last thing to say. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.